Welcome back to Poker Tonight. Scott Huff, Joe Seabach. Joe, what do you think about all this cheering in poker? Seabach, Seabach, Seabach! I think I could probably get used to it. Now, just because the eyes of the poker world were turned to Las Vegas for the World Series of Poker last week doesn't mean the internet was shut off. FullTiltPoker.net added a player to their team for the first time in over a year in high-stakes cash game player Tom Durdwan. Durd's been playing the biggest cash games in the world for the last two years, winning and sometimes losing millions of dollars. Now, I see why this deal is good for him, but what I don't necessarily see is why this is a good deal for their poker site. Is Durr a big enough draw to bring people to their website? And does anyone really even know, Seabach, who Durr is? Come on, Scott. Everybody at this point knows exactly who Durr is. There are plenty of people who absolutely idolize Dwan in the sick, sick way that he plays poker. I'm even willing to take it a step further and say that your average person on the street will know exactly who Durr is. In fact, I went out and proved it. We took it to the streets of downtown Burbank to ask people, who is Durr? In a little segment we like to call, Taking It to Fifth Street. All right, my man, here's a question. Who or what is a Durr? I have no idea. Durr, I don't know. Durr? I have no idea. Uh, you got me Durring right now, I don't know, man. Well, if you had to take a guess, what would you, what would you say? Durr Wiener Schnitzel? <laughs> Probably some weird name for a drug of some sort. I'm gonna say it's a uh, it's a German word for donkey. This tie is amazing, by the way. I want to let you know that. <laughs> I think the best thing that I could come up with is money. Who or what is Durr? Who or what is Durr? Who or what is Durr? Uh, Durr Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> That's actually the second time we've gotten that answer today. Really? Is it a person on the pro circuit for poker? Um, it might be. Is he uh, a poker player? Getting getting hot, getting hot. Dur. Doesn't ring any bells. Durr. Like, duh. Thought so maybe he played in my mother's basement or something like that. Well, he may be soon if he keeps playing the way he's been playing recently. <laughs> I have no clue. Who or what is Durr, my man? Uh, Tom Dwan. That's Tom Dwan. Lock it up. That's pretty easy. Durr. See, I was totally right. Durr's good. All right, kids. Well, I feel sorry for you if you're on our list this week. Her name is Dana Workman, and she's got a little something she wants to tell you about. And it's called The Weekly Miss Deal, brought to you by Bluff Magazine. Thanks, guys. Welcome to The Weekly Miss Deal, your one-stop shop for all poker's meanest headlines from soup to the nuts. And I guess we're starting with soup and sandwiches this week as Darwin Moon, runner-up in the main event, reportedly turned down a $300,000 endorsement deal from Subway Sandwiches. No one's avoided Jared this much since every girl he knew in high school. I would have held out till they brought back the U-cut, though. Moon, the Maryland logger, prefers to keep things simple at his cabin in Wyoming with no electricity and an outhouse. With all this talk about pots and outhouses and logs and moons, it's no wonder why he finished number two. Overall, the ratings were down a tenth of a percentage point for the premiere of the WSOP broadcast. But fortunately, ratings did increase in some key demographics. Don't worry, guys. You may have hooked up with less girls this year, but the ones you did hook up with were slightly hotter, so good job. In a surprising move, World Series of Poker Commissioner Jeffrey Pollock stepped down from his position last week. Pollock, who grew the game in many areas, including the world of Twitter, made the following farewell speech. <clears throat> Quote, thank you at poker fans for always treating with such hashtag respect. I look forward to the at great unknown hashtag WSOP, LOL, ROFL, end quote. The Palms Casino is in some trouble with the Nevada Gaming Commission as it allowed tournaments to be run by the United States Poker League, which was not registered with the state and bounced 22 of its tournaments payout checks. The debacle cost the Palms close to $500,000, which was easily covered by 50 Cent spending one night in the Playboy Suite. It's expensive. Speaking of the Palms, Phil Helmuth was spotted at Palms 9 Steakhouse last Thursday night with a few friends. Helmuth dropped $3,000 on the meal, yet somehow managed to drop twice as many names. He was only there for dessert. And finally, congratulations to Greg Sessler, winner of the 2009 Tahoe WSOP Circuit Ladies event. 
The 22-year-old UC Davis student is not only a good poker player, but is also one of the best players on his little league team. Way to go, Greg. I'm Dana Workman, and this has been your weekly Miss Deal, pulling this show out of the muck since 2009. Thanks, Dana. Wow, I can't believe another dude won a ladies' event. Nice one, guy. Classy. Very, very classy. We've got more poker tonight coming up right after this. Who wants free money? UB.net is giving away tons of it in the Poker Tonight free roll. The next main event goes down this Sunday, so head over to UB.net for your free shot to play with us and win hundreds of thousands in cash. Welcome back to Poker Tonight. Scott Huff alongside Joe Seabock. The cast and crew here of Poker Tonight were all in Las Vegas during the World Series of Poker main event last week. And sometimes when you're in a casino for that long, you can go a little stir crazy. Lucky for us though, Scott Ian, guitarist for Anthrax and UB.net Pro, is a good friend of ours. He invited us to check out his new bar right off the Vegas Strip, Dead Man's Hand. The bar is actually co-owned by Jerry Cantrell of Alice in Chains, and it's a big time hangout for rockers, celebrities, and poker players. Poker Tonight got the invite for Scott's party during the WSOP, so let's check it out. All right, well that's all the time we've got for Poker Tonight. Join us right back here next week for another episode. For scenes from the cutting room floor, including extended interviews and outtakes, be sure to check out the website at pokertonight.com. I'd like to thank our guest, Lon McCarran. Thank you. For Lacey Jones, Dana Workman, and Joe Seabach, this is Scott Huff saying keep our seats open. <laughs>